Now, ladies and gentlemen, after almost two weeks of silence, Valve has finally spoken. Counter-Strike 2's last update was 10 days ago, making it the longest stretch with any changes to the game since CS2 first released, or even possibly dating back to the limited test. As we normally get one update per week at the very least, sometimes two to three, one of those growing a gigabyte size, and this one's no different today. Yet on the bright side of things, it's also the biggest update we've ever seen. Last night, on the last day of November, Valve dropped an update, that being 4.5 gigabytes and counting. Today's video, we have much to discuss. We'll break down this most recent blog post, see the most important fixes and changes, and for a quick spoiler warning, there's quite a few changes I'm not sure how everyone will react. Today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a buying and trading marketplace where you can trade off your old skins for something new. All you do is log in with Steam, then you trade the skins you no longer want to pick up the new skins you want to obtain. Any remaining cash from trading goes to your balance that can be used in any future trade. By using my code MANDO, you can get up to a free $5, and if you choose to deposit alongside using my code, you get a total of a 35% deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Now firstly, for a quick recap, as most of you know, it's been 10 days with no update, and Valve last night sent out a tweet alongside a very big blog post. The community reaction to this tweet, but the entire update was pretty mixed. There was dozens of fixes, but also some changes that some of those are new and, well, pretty questionable to most players in the community. Now, some important things to note, they still haven't added the ability to play on the left-hand side of your screen or bob it in the game and any new content. Now, as it goes for blog post size, it's not too big. The categories are very detailed, which is very nice because that's been a big complaint amongst me and many other people in the community. And since it's so large, we're gonna quickly highlight the most important parts. Now, firstly, for the update on November 30th, we're gonna talk about the gameplay category first. Sub tick timing improvements to various systems, including grenade throw animations and revolver firing. They also added a missing fire effect to Molotovs that are held by players. So let's just say you're a CT or maybe one of your teammates on the T side. Someone picks up a Molotov or has one, you can't really know what they're holding. It could just be a flashbang so you could turn away, when otherwise if you were on the CT side, saw a guy with a molly, you would have just walked towards him or walked around it. Now next up is the animation category, which I actually find to be pretty important. They changed, fixed, and added a bunch of things for player animations in game. When you get hit by some sort of bullet, a nade by a flashbang, your animation changes now, specifically for hit animations with the gun. They made jump animations directional, improved character posing, improved foot placement. They also changed the animation of how players get flashbanged to more accurately represent the player's ability to see. So if you're full white, your full hand is going to be over your face. If you're not, you're going to be like half, maybe you can see through the cracks of your fingers type of thing. That's going to be a really interesting change, especially playing as the opposing team to see how the enemy was flashed. Now for the sound category, they fixed the obvious. That being sounds you hear in the distance, up close, but also player movements. Now for the miscellaneous category, there's two things they stated, and there's also quite a few things they didn't list. The most notable one is they adjusted a lot of wear values for tournament stickers, that being majors, to better match CSGO. They changed keybinds to better match CSGO behavior. As it goes for which major stickers actually got changed, they pretty much fixed all of them, mostly some of the older ones, but most notably Rio. Right now, this is considered to be a bug, which I agree with. As most of you know, in CSGO or the early days of CS2, if you scraped your Rio stickers, it would look semi-transparent. You could still see a little outline, but it would still be there. If you scraped your sticker a bunch, it's no longer there. It's just not there on your weapon at all, but it will say it's there in game. So the best thing you can do is just wait to the next update. And for the rest of the blog post is just bug fixes practically on every single map, that being Nuke, Mirage, Office, Vertigo, Anubis, and Ancient. Now the biggest changes here in additions to CS2 is for Mirage. They fixed clipping on van at truck. This, if you guys don't know, is on B site right outside of apartments going into the B bomb. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't know this, but on CSGO, there was a little part on the van. You could actually jump from there to get into apps or just kind of hide there. Now it's kind of pointless just to sit there. It's rather to get into apps quicker. But now since it's not just one part of the van you can jump onto, it's the entire part. This is just one of many changes players don't really like because it's becoming more noob friendly and way more known. Now, will this change up how players play on B? Probably not because it's a lot more easier to access. And the other change people don't like is now on a bomb site, they added visual boundaries of where you could plant the bomb. Now, why players don't like this either, and I'm kind of on the fence about this, it's not going to change how the game is played, but now you can see where you can and can't plant the bomb. A lot of players in the community, including myself, possibly think that Valve is making CS more noob friendly to get someone like the Valorant crowd over, or at least try CS because it makes more sense and it's just easier to know where you can and can't plant the bomb. Now, on the bright side of things, and the good thing about that is at least on Triple Box now, you know where you can and can't plant because CS2 was kind of iffy. And for the other maps, they fixed a bunch of clipping, bugs where you could fall through the map, little micro graps where you could see throughout certain parts of the map. On Ancient, you could see through walls, through a little crack. Now, it wasn't like game changing or game breaking, but at least it's gone now. Something from Aquarius on Twitter that he just 
this post about is he talked about the new ELO giveaway after this last update. You can see he's ranked 17,000 in Premier and he won 800 points while on the other side of things, if he lost, he was only going to lose 100. That's pretty crazy if I got to say so myself. The most I saw you could win after a game was around 5 to 600. Now that being 8 plus, that's pretty crazy. Now something to mention, this is probably not for everybody. It's probably just a one-off or maybe for certain people in certain ranks or if you won four or five games already. And just like the Rio stickers and a lot of these other bugs that this update's going to come with, these are probably going to be fixed in a smaller one later this week, if not very early next week. Why this update is so controversial is players are somewhat pissed by one, the lack of content, but mainly changes made to Mirage. That being the A-bomb site border and the ability to jump on van a whole lot easier. Players are worried that CS is becoming more noob friendly and they're trying to appeal to the casual audience. Yes, it's weird, but in my opinion, you have to be more open to having new players come to the game and making it easier for them to learn. Then let me know what you guys think down below. There's a bunch of content we got to make this week regarding CS2, one of them being CS2's appeal to the noob audience or new players. I don't want to beat a dead horse talking about the declining player count once again, but I am going to discuss cases because Valve is down almost 25 million cases in box from every other month where normally 50 million plus are opened. Last month in November, only 27 were, which that's a record low for the last few years. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.